once you pull out the factory cover rail here this is what it will look like and then the next thing you will need to do is to remove this metal bracket here by un unbolt this nut right here and that should come out on all four corners of the rev so this is a uh, 11 millimeter nut there's a nut inside of the car behind the pillar support here so once you uh, unscrew it when you're doing it just lift it up at the same time use uh, that the drill to you know with the socket to get it out so once it comes loose it should come out just like that and the hose is there and the same thing for the one in the front it should come out like that once you get that removed and this one then you go and do the same thing on the passenger side i'm working on the driver's side right now once that is all done then i will go in here and remove the handles part the visor and drop the headliner a little bit but not all the way down and then there's nut that from that bracket that we just took out that will you know be in here that you could use after all right to remove this piece here this one right here you're gonna have to um give it a twist to the left counterclockwise and then pull it comes down like this and then there's this little tab there on both sides you're gonna have to get two screwdriver and push it down then pull it again then it'll come out so basically this car is dark in here it's black interior so you, you hear it turn no this one just pulls right out so that comes out and there's these little clips right here there's a clip here and here you just press it and then that comes out too so that's how you get that out as for the visor you're just gonna have to uh there's two screws here unscrew that and then wiggle it it should come down and then it, this one i think there's a wire there that you just gotta disconnect and right here's the handle so you just gotta get this little tab off on both sides and yank on it that should come out and also over here behind the uh the sidewall pillar here this should go all the way down and then this cover it just peels open like that and you see that black tab there's two of them one on each end you just need to take that out and then pull it pull this it should come out then slide down and that should be good and same thing back there on that one do the same thing to get that handle out and part of the cover there you're gonna have to pull it back but once you remove the door trim here that will help to get rid i mean be easy to get into see how this one has already been removed and it's easy to peel it off the uh, nut with flange that came out of your uh, the headliner when we uh, when I took the bolt off right here and then the headliner is pretty much about this much I so far removed it I'm not gonna try to, to remove a whole lot but anyway all you need to do is just push down like this and then the uh, the nut will come out and you will be needing this for the next operation when we put the rack on so do the same thing on the driver's side and then the uh, back here you just need to pull this panel down just a little bit not a whole lot so once you get this loose and the headliner should come down there's three black tabs here that you need to remove just to help get it down a little bit more but you don't have to Take it all the way down 100%. You could do me about 30, 40%. All right. You can slowly, you know, there's there's this Velcro right there, and there's four, one, two, three. There's four of them right here in the corner. All you guys gotta do is just slowly put your hand in, 
and you know pull it down slow you don't need to yank on it so you don't bend your headliner and then you do the same to the one here in the driver's side so this is pretty much you know lower of the headliner you know i'm still going to be able to get my hand in here and i could see you see the two light holes there that's where the bolt's going to go into so same thing over here you can see the you know the two holes on the top right right there where my finger is pointing so you're going to use those holes. oh it's further back behind the yellow wires sorry so that's where the bolt's going to come in and hold the rack and you know you got enough room to get your fingers in there you don't really need to drop the whole entire thing if you don't have to so that's how far i drop it down and you guys can take a look at it see i can get my hand in here and then just hold on with a wrench to hold the nut and back here like i was saying earlier you gotta pop this out later don't forget to put this back this blue tab here on both sides comes down and then there's three over here that i removed see the three holes right there these little guys right here i'll show you guys so it's right there so that's how much you gotta re remove your headliner so it's not as bad as everyone think but it takes a little time to do it so you guys can do it all right i'll get back with you guys let me put the rack on and i'll show you the final product all right guys first wrap four with the panel roof just finished installing it there you go i know if there's some of you guys that had placed a pre-order those should be coming out real soon this one came from texas just for the install so i want to show you guys roof clearance i know some of you panels guy ask about it there's your panel roof see the clearance Let's see if i get down there so you got plenty of clearance so you don't have to worry about hitting it see anywhere yeah, where you go guys panel roof clearance Shark fin have plenty of clearance because of this glass right there. You guys see that right there? Okay. There's plenty of room. Let's see. Let's see. Get in between here is the slots so you guys can see that there is room to clear the crossbar. Mm -hmm. 